hi everyone welcome back to another video once again i apologize for recording so late i just came back from church actually it is a sunday the 31st of july can you believe it like it's august tomorrow so i was just like you know what i'm not gonna get time anymore um this coming week i'm so busy and then saturday i'm working and i'm attending um, a birthday party um and then sunday i've got the market hopefully the weather won't like ruin everything this time so i won't have time to record this video i was like okay i'm just gonna have to record it and apologize but i think most of my viewers just get happy if i post and especially a budget video um so welcome to another video if you're new here hi my name is norma i am the owner of norma's diary and welcome to my channel so what I have done is I have, oh, I was just doing my prayers here, I'm just going to put it there. So what I have done is I've wrote down all my expenses. So as you can see, I think I will use a red pen or should I just use blue? <laughs> Doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so first of all, I am using the Budget for Freedom journal. I've been using this the whole year. I cannot believe it's August already. Um, as you can see it's full and what we do first is we write down our income now I wrote down three spaces of income here just in case you have a business or you split your um, income with your partner or your family maybe mom's income my income or whatever it is and then the total income and that's how you're going to calculate the bills and the expenses so the total income for my household is 21,500 that's between me um, my husband and also our business so the first expense is rent rent is always six one two five I just want to check if it is clear there um, let me see I think I'll change the color to blue as well so six one two five and then the car is two two five oh as you can see it's gone up from last month if you have been following me for a while everything has gone up everything with interest has gone up so if you are paying a mortgage for your house you know that has gone up and it's just been a nightmare in south africa everything has gone up um petrol food everything skyrockets some guy on tiktok said that everything skyrockets Kelsey, kupuga, petrol, kupuga, food skyrockets oh you don't even know how much you manage it what do you take what do you yes, it's just so crazy <laughs> okay so insurance 1050 shopify 850 with shopify it depends how many sales i make so if you do have shopify you get what i'm talking about but if you don't there's a standard cost for shopify just for having a website and i'm um, having a shop on there but the more sales you make the more money you pay at the end of the month if that makes sense so it's a little bit hectic but it's okay wi-fi 200 rand uh vodacom 409 so that has gone up as well it used to be 399 car tracker 190 uh, medical aid 2900 netflix 99 rand um f and b so that is my card my um, premium card is 219 a month that i pay for it savings um we're gonna put 1000 away electricity i'm going to budget 850 last month i budgeted 800 and i spent 850 so i'm gonna budget 850 um food 2000 and our food i think will be a little bit lower than last month just because i am on a meat fast um just some spiritual journey um so i know meat is very expensive so we won't have to probably spend as much and petrol 2300 and um, just because that's how much we spent last month because obviously petrol is up but i heard it's going down so hopefully that budget will, will reach you know the 2300 it might go down to 1800 which is what we used to um spend on petrol and then lastly beauty 600 which is my lashes <sighs> okay so that is my um well not mine my family expenses the bills car etc 
um, and that is the amount so due date I know when the due dates are you can write that if you want to remind yourself but you don't have to as well okay so now we're going to calculate the total expenses and then we're going to see if we need to remove things that are not important things like lashes things like Netflix um, drop down somewhere maybe with savings and things like that but we'll see let's just calculate okay so 6125 plus 2250 plus 1050 plus 850 plus 200 plus 409 plus 190 plus 2900 plus 99 plus 219 plus 1000 plus 850 plus 2000 plus 2300 okay so 20 so the total is 20,000 442 so if we minus that from the 21,500 is 1058 left okay so we're looking good if this right here was more than this right here then obviously we have a problem and we need to figure out where can we remove expenses and stuff but we are looking good so far um meal planning because I'm on a meat fast, I am eating something a little bit different from KB, but he is a chef. So my husband is a chef. So he, he knows how to accommodate me and makes roast vegetables with meat. And then I just have the roast vegetables and things like that. So, um, yeah, we're going to plan our, because we're starting off the month nicely, you know, with, on a Monday, we're going to plan our menu actually tonight for the coming week. Okay. So now breaking it down basically here what happens is you break down your expenses what is going to come out of your card what is debt what is going to come out of um what do you need to withdraw for cash expenses i always recommend um for things like food things like beauty petrol um what else savings as well because i have sinking funds so things like that i always recommend to withdraw the money so that if you do have change you can put it in your savings um, challenges in your sinking funds so for saving challenges i have um christmas and then i also have um food stamps and the new challenge that i'm sure you have seen the 100 envelope saving challenge where you can save up to 50,500 Rand in cash. Now, I've had a lot of people on my TikTok saying, why would you have so much money lying around? It's not safe. And I totally, totally, totally understand. So what I have done is, um, let me grab my card. One moment, I'll be back. What I have done is, I'm going to use my time bank account. So, I'm just gonna hide a few numbers. So this is my time bank account. I'm not sponsored by time bank i wish i was if they see this video please sponsor me <laughs> so i'm going to use my time bank account to put some money away so it, when i have 2000 rand saved up in this challenge i'm going to take that 2000 and i'm going to deposit in my time bank so if i go into my time bank right now, so if i go into my time bank right now um Okay, and I go under Goal Saver. Let's go on Goal Saver. This is what you'll see. You'll see a safe and you'll see 100 Rand in there, which has got one, one cent interest currently. <laughs> um, so when I have 2000, I'm going to deposit into my time bank account and then I will carry on saving with the envelopes. And then when I get the next 2000, I will deposit again. So let me tell you how does this challenge work. Okay, so the over here, what must I do? Must I zoom it in? Okay, so over here we've got 100 envelopes. As you can see, they start from 10 rand. So this is a US challenge, USA challenge, where they have a dollar, their dollar is a note. 
um, and they go from 1 to 100 so obviously ours is a little bit different so we have 10 rand as um, our smallest notes so this challenge will start with just a 10 rand so 10 rand when you have 10 rand put it in your envelope and then color in the envelope when you have 20 rand color in the envelope when you have 30 rand color in the envelope when you have 40 rand color in the envelope so etc so it goes from one, one uh, 10 rand to 100 rand 110 to 200 rand 210 300 310 when you have 350 put it intentionally save as well because big numbers like this like 780 and um, 840 600 you can't just have it randomly um, you have to intentionally save as well but it would be nice to color in the whole thing and have 50,500 saved up so over here it says what is your why the reason why I put this over here it's because when you have a why you give your savings a name so for example if your why is to pay off debt then you already know that this holds value into my life because i just want to be debt free so if you're not going to proceed with this you then ruining the chances of yourself being debt free you're taking that away from yourself and you're causing yourself to have debt when you could have worked out a plan for yourself to have debt if your why is to go on a honeymoon with the love of your life then you know that if you don't proceed or if you're not as disciplined or if you spend the money before completing the challenge you've taken the honeymoon opportunity away from you and the love of your life if you're wise to pay off your car if you're wise to deposit a new car maybe you want to deposit a car and pay a very low um installment like how i do then you'll know that if you spend the money do, do you see what i mean like you're putting a feeling into it the reason why i ask you what is your why why is this important to you why do you need it why no matter what happens you're not going to mess this up it's because you know what it means to you so if it means you want to deposit a car deposit a house um whatever it is then you know that if I spend this, I'm taking away a home from my for my children. I'm taking away an opportunity of having a car and affording it every single month. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, so we have 100 envelopes here. Um, the smallest envelope is 10 rand. The biggest envelope is 1,000 rand. So obviously with the 1,000 rand, since this month I'm putting putting away 1,000 rand, I could actually intentionally withdraw it, put an envelope and color in that envelope. So let's have a look at some of the envelopes that I have. Okay, so I've got my box here. So I've got this 100 rand here. I've got this 150, as you can see. It's got 150 in there. I've got this 40 rand here. 500 rand here. 400 rand here. 300 rand here. Which I haven't colored in. I haven't colored in some of these. I just need to color them in and then deposit the money because I think it's now 1,900 in total. 50 rand, 70 rand, 20, 10, 60, which I've colored in, and 200, which I have colored in. This one is an empty envelope. Okay, so I've colored the 200, 160 Rand. So this is the 160 and 200. So I'll put it back in here. And then, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to post um, daily reels to keep people motivated. I'm not going to color all of it. So for now, for I'm going to, because I want to deposit the big ones, I'm going to color in 500. Okay, so, oh, this is 400. Okay, it's fine. 400. So let's double check. One, two, three, four. Okay, I put it in my box. And then I'll grab these crayons that we got from work. I'm going to take a green and I'm going to color in the 400 envelope. Okay, so 
so now how much is that four six seven sixty seven hundred and sixty rand currently right now colored in but if we had to add all of these envelopes together okay let me grab my calculator i need to get a proper calculator okay so we've got 400 plus 100 plus 60 plus 200 empty plus 500 plus 150 plus 40 plus 10 plus 20 plus 70 plus 50 plus 300 yeah, so it's 1,900 and then in my time bank account, you saw I've got the 100 Rand in there. Um, so now it's 2,000 total. Now I'm going to take all of this money tomorrow. I'm gonna to go and deposit it on my time bank account and then we're going to proceed. So every single envelope that I've deposited, I'm going to put, um, I think a star like this. So as you can see, there's a star there and I'll put a star like that, like that like that so i'll know that i've already put this into my account but obviously um i'll keep color in and i'll keep coloring in <laughs> the ones that i'm still saving up until i have the next 2000 um and then i'll keep you guys updated so yeah that is the new challenge it's literally 49 rand 99 and it's available right now on my shop it has four of these designs so it has this design um, there is power and kindness. It has this cute design like the desert look thing um, And then it has this one positive self affirmations design and then it has another hundred hundred rand looking design envelope um, And then you get two of these you don't need two, but if you do want to do it with someone absolutely um, So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and please do subscribe if you haven't Please do tag me if you start the challenge. It's literally $49.99. Let's do this, guys. It's going to be so nice to see how much we have saved by the end of this year. Or if you complete every, um, the whole envelope challenge by next year, it will be so nice because I'm sure by next year around June, I would have completed it. And I'm going to be so excited to have that 50500 For me, I'm going to put it into my, um, we've got a loan that we're trying to pay off, me and my husband. So it's going to be so nice to like pay it off. Of course, it's still um, deducting every single month on my husband's account. Um, just the minimum payment. But the, we just want to put in more just to pay it off quickly. So that will be so excited. So I just thought I should start this challenge to also help him and also to just, you know, be debt free. You know, <laughs> you know, I like that. Um, okay, now I'm rambling. I'm all over the place. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I will be uploading another video shortly about the goals of for August. I just don't want the video, this video to be too long. Bye.